So I've actually uh, got about 100 hours plus in the game now, which is quite ridiculous. Had a couple of weeks free, but really enjoyed the game. Um, single player, played a co-op and so forth. So this is my sixth kill of this boss. I've done it on each hero, done it twice on Remy because I did one co-op, one single player. Um, and then I did, this is my, finishing my second playthrough. As you can see here, I'm level 32. Uh, skills don't play a big um, a difference, I think, in boss killing, except on this one it probably will help a little bit if you get jumped by some vamps, because you got your ultimate power, the rook also, uh, ultimate power, although the difference in this boss, just to say, the strategy is, you can see the white boss health, uh, and this is on Eclipse, which is sort of nightmare difficulty, so you can see here, you unlock that on your first playthrough and your first tune for all heroes. I usually, and I've just done this playthrough on midnight, and I'm going to do my next playthrough to cap out to 40, it'll take you three. I'm just giving it a go on midnight to see how hard it can be. I think this is one of the easier bosses. I think Bloody Tom is probably the harder one. Um, even Hollow Man would be the two harder ones in the game at the harder difficulties. Uh, this one's sort of just, as long as you execute it and you shoot stuff from range, you can probably get away with it on Eclipse, I'm hoping. Uh, this is my first attempt of it. But I, you know, I've killed it so many times, I know the strategy. So you don't actually kill the boss, as you know. If you've done it on easier difficulties, you just have to kill the stuff to get to the anchors. Made sure that I've got full ammo. Now the main thing is for us, uh, is we do have our main cooldown to stagger stuff, uh, but the ray gun is going to be key for the rook, the ray gun is going to be key for the ray gun and the stake for the vamps and things. So. Ah, I'm going to use my short cooldown just to stagger things. There is a bit of um, residue around the place if we need to use our ultimate power, but we'll see how we go on that. Because you only get one use of that, I don't know. Chasing around and filling it up, it's probably going to be problematic. So they spawn when you come here. Now, if you just uh, don't go too close, you can pick a couple of these off. Wow, it's still even a one shot on the clips. The stake gun is just AP. Um, just to show you my weapons, I should say. Uh, the, the, these are the three weapons. I melted my Medusa that was purple, so I just bought one of these. I somehow it disappeared. I'm not sure if it's a glitch in the game. Don't stand still or that happens. But I think this is easy just once I work out how it worked because the rook's going to spawn when I get up here. Here we go. Oh, it's gonna, we're going to get a um, shroud as well. But the ray guns are OP. Where's the shroud here? You can fall off the edge of this map. I just find that this is a really slow pace, so it's more just take your time. Now, usually the uh, rook on the easier difficulty spawns, so I'm not sure what's going on here. Then it's the siphon, so I don't know if this is bugged, but we'll see. Oh, it's up there. Just heal up, there's plenty of health around the map. Could use your UV ray if it ports near you. I'll freeze this one. There we go, and one to the head with this really quick, you've got to be there, come out quick. Now that's just the best two combat gun combination in the game. Just surprised the Rook hasn't come out because he's got three three parts to his health. You kill him to, you know, first time, second time, and then the third time for real. Don't forget when you kill him for the third time, just going to heal up, burn my heals to max, I know there's health here, I'm not going to come back for it. So, yeah, no rook. That's really weird. Well, I have to kill him at some stage, as long as it doesn't glitch out the uh, eclipse. Just took longer to freeze, that's all I can see on that on this one. <coughs> freeze that shroud. Sometimes you can poke up from a distance that shroud, but maybe its range seems a lot bigger on um, the eclipse difficulty. This keeps, you're just going to have to wait till that stops, because it's going to interrupt you doing the tether every time. I've had that on the other difficulties, wait till it really. Oh, here, more health. 
health. Okay. The next one, the angler, jump down by accident then, is the more tough one, as you know, the anglers, that you want to have your stake gun in your hand for that. Don't try to freeze that one, because if it pulls you mid-air and then it gets the full pull, it will on eclipse one shot you. So you want to try to pick it off from a distance and have some line of sight to break the pull. Or if you do get pulled mid-air, you want to just take these out from range. Just got electricity on me because I'm still... Here we go, the rooks come. I'm going to blow my ultimate power here. Because he's uh, come out. Don't do your ray gun. I'd normally do ray gun on this guy. You just want to get him low health so he disappears. Because it's got three phases. He's not killable for the third. But I don't know with him disappearing on the first part what's happening there. You want to be careful. You can some of this up just to get your old power back uh, for the last time you kill him, but we should be fine just to kill him. A bit of, I can see some residue here. It takes a while to fill up your residue, that's the problem. Okay, so here, don't, just keep line of sight so you can fall down there if you need to. Um, go to your stake gun. Same on any difficulty when I've done this. I just wanted to see how much harder on Eclipse. How much will it do? One. He always moves away like that, so I'm just going to reload. Vicinity based again, so with the stake gun, it's really good range. Oh, we're going to just be alright with this. He won't pull you in because you're so far away, and he doesn't put down to you. Oh, easy mode on the clips. Don't forget, and I did on one one kill, forget to do this tether before you move on. I was thinking, why is the rook not spawning? I've got to say, this has got to be the easiest boss fight when you know how to use the stake gun and the UV gun. Down here you can have, I had, I don't know if it's just different RNG or bug, but I had a bunch of humans one time, a bunch of vamps one time, and then another time just a rook and a couple of vamps. So you can see the vamp up there. This got really good range, the stake gun. I've only got, uh, let me just get that down. Assault rifle, these are my weapons for all bossing. This assault rifle with 30% damage increase is really good for the other bosses. Okay, get your ray gun out for this guy. Bounce me then, electricity. I'm just gonna get that reload. I just wanna keep one for the rook. So I'll kill them with the ray gun if uh, otherwise. It's vicinity based, so I think uh, they'll change this. It's too oh, easy. No. I've got something coming. Oh, that's the rook, is it? That's the rook there, okay. Just going to throw down my electricity. Oh, come on, I thought that was enough. Yep, that's it, now in time. Gee, that's got to be the easiest time I've killed the rook. It's usually charging. I think I didn't get him on the first. Don't forget to get it. We've got Ambition, which kills the vamps. Only gun, the pistol in the game that kills the vamps. So it's the range here. Maybe it's on a PC, you know, I've got. Now the siphon here, um, I usually use the ash for the siphon. Just going to finish him off with uh, that and a stake. This gun's really good for vamps too, just normal vamps, so I usually use the ray gun out in the world. Let's see what we can do with the siphon. Usually I freeze him and then do a stake to the head to make sure that I'm reloaded. No, I've got no more stakes, so I'm going to have to freeze. Do it the old fashioned way. His line of sight here. This gun just rocks. You can see that's why I use it. It's my boss weapon on any boss weapon, even on vamps. I'm going to get up, so he's going to come out in a second. I'm going to keep him suppressed. Where'd you go? Oh, there you go. Just get to him quick. And this is a clip, so... I tell you what, it's not like this on the other boss. I thought this would be easy, so I thought I'd just step it up now. I'm about to do my clips playthrough to see how the last boss is. So the last boss, I think, is really the easiest. You can take your time here. She's screaming out there. I was like rushing to get to her before something happened. I didn't want to die on my first kill. Get your health packs for your next playthrough. Be warned, you're going to, um, after this, you're forced just to restart the game. So don't do the Black Sun 
unless it's a bit, <laughs> a bit late to tell you, but I've already got that up on my channel. Uh, make sure you've done all your side quests and vamp nests or whatever you want before your next playthrough. I'm level 32, so it'll take one more playthrough on Eclipse to cap out, or two thirds of the playthrough, I'm guessing. Uh, I was level 21 on the first playthrough, 32 on the second, and it's probably going to take, well, at least one to do the last. The XP requirements goes up. Thing about this, I wish that on the increased playthroughs that these actually gave you something more like the same on every difficulty um, you know it should give you a health value or something that's small increase I don't know it just doesn't feel rewarding on the bosses with the four here they're the same each time so once you've beat the game on say even daylight on easy mode um, you know they're all the same when you get them I just like the ultimate power one for my your V-Ray. So when you finish, just be aware that when you finish, it's all over. So you'll come up to here. Make sure you, you loot this over here for your MO for the next play, but there has been a few times on the playthroughs, three out of six times, a legendary in that bag. I got a cast special just before going into the fight, which I really like, for headshots plus 75% headshot kill. Hello. So finishing the game here, um, you can talk to him or walk into the sunlight, it, it's, it's optional, but the game is going to restart. Can you kill them even? They've gone to sleep because they think it's all over. And then the credits come up. Now I'm going to skip the credits. Miracle. I did have one they post from me. somebody in my video saying um, it crashed in the credits for him and he restarted in this map and couldn't proceed to the next because he didn't have the quest to kill the boss. So, I mean, I won't... I don't, don't watch the credits is all I'm saying, press your escape key, though I've never had that or heard that on any other person. That sucked for him though. He's going to start the game again and he's lost uh, something like 18 hours in the game. Not fun. Have a good day, Black Sun, Eclipse, <laughs> easy mode. You can see it's Eclipse.